Hey there, Purple Marine 81 here. Um, as you can see, this video is going to be going over packs. Um, I'm sure you've probably seen uh, the video I did recently on my Alice pack. You know, the one on the left there. Uh, you know, and as you can see, it's loaded out for uh, long-term bug-out bag usage. Um, but uh, this video is pretty much going to be going over uh, EDC, everyday carry bags, uh, which is what I use uh, the one on the right there. Uh, that's what I use it for. Um, but uh, I'm going to go over some of the reasons why I use this size of an EDC. Um, and uh, I'll go over a little bit of the bag itself, you know, and like what's in it. Um, but uh, let's uh, get right into it and uh, show you what we got. Um, as I said, you probably already have seen this guy. This is all loaded out for long term stuff. Um, you know, three days plus. <clears throat> Sorry, phone is ringing. I don't want to keep buzzing through the uh, the video. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this sucker's you know it's all set set to go for long haul usage. Um, you know, and as I said in my other video when I went over this the first time, you know this it's really. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world to wear, and if you've ever been in the service, you know that these things can kind of dig into you a bit, and you know they're not the most pleasant thing in the world. But they're a workhorse, and this is the large size, and you can fit a ton of shit in these things, uh, and it'll just take a beating and keep on going. But uh, enough about that. This is about this guy. Um, this pack itself is just a cheap one that I picked up from uh, Walmart. Um, it's uh, made by Outdoor Products. Um, you know, it's nothing fancy like Max Edition or anything like that. You know, it's just a little cheapy bag. Um, but, uh, you know, I wanted something that was more low-key, um, you know, because I've got this on me every day. You know, so I didn't want something that was, like, all tactical about and everything. And, you know, if that's what you wear, cool. But uh, I just didn't want to draw like that much attention to myself, you know, because I knew knowing me, if I bought like a Max Edition like Sitka or something like that, which I do like that bag, um, you know, I'd have patches and the pouches and crap and you know everything all over it, so it looked like I was going into battle, um, <laughs> you know, and you get enough funny looks just wearing a pack as it is, um, you know, so I didn't want to draw that much more attention to myself. Um, so I wanted something that was a little bit more civilian looking, uh, just like a school backpack, you know, or campers type, type deal. Uh, so that's why I went with this guy. Uh, but it's not bad, you know, it's pretty decently constructed. You know, it's not real chintzy. I got some waterproofing spray and, you know, spray it down. Um, I took this camping with me once, actually, uh, and it held up real well. So it's, you know, it's not that bad of a quality bag. Uh, it's got a lot of good features on it. Um, it's got 4D rings on the bottom and some tie-down straps so if you need to cinch something to the bottom. Um, use it for, you know, a day pack or something like that for hiking. It's good for that. This uh, shock cord, I put this on myself. Doesn't This doesn't come on there. Um, it's got two more D rings up top here. Uh, it's got a carry handle on the top. Um, as you can see, it is hydration cap capable. Uh, it's got a 2-liter bottle in there now. Um, let's see what else. Uh, it does have a couple straps here. I've got my Max Position foam carrier strap to this side. It does have a sternum strap with an elastic little band on it. Uh, the back part is very well padded. This pack is is really really comfortable. Um, it's not it's not bad at all. Um, and it does have the mesh on here, and you can see it's like really well ventilated, so you don't sweat real bad. Um, the uh, Waist strap is really well padded. It's got the same kind of mesh stuff on the inside, heavy duty buckle. And uh, all these are, it's all very adjustable. Um, the shoulder height can be adjusted for your straps as far as like how high it comes up to your neck. Um, it does have, you know, it's got the normal cinch straps to pull it down on your back. Um, this waist strap is also, uh, you can adjust the buckle, but then it also has cinch straps back here to tighten it up, snug it up on your waist. So you can really get a good, comfortable, like tight fit onto your torso. Uh, 
then. I guess let's uh, go into what I got in here. Well, actually, before I do that, um, I'll explain a little bit why I carry such a large EDC. Um, I really, I started out carrying, you know, a real tiny EDC bag that was, I don't know, probably like gallon size. Um, to give you kind of like a size comparison, I should have brought it out here. Um, but, uh, you know, I had the basics in it and it really like, it just didn't, didn't really seem like I had enough. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of, maybe I'm overly paranoid. But I just felt like if I was going to be carrying something that was an EDC, and the whole purpose of carrying an EDC is, at least in my opinion, is my whole philosophy was your EDC basically is has to have enough equipment in it um, and or supplies to get you theoretically from wherever it is that you're at back to your home, to this guy. So, you know, I thought this little tiny bag, you know, yeah, you could probably make it work with what I had in there. Um, but I thought, you know, well, what's the point in only carrying that little of tools and supplies if you don't have to? I mean, yeah, if you were in a situation where you had no choice but to only grab a little pouch, you know, and that's all you had, okay, you know, you make, make best with what you got. Uh, but uh, but why why do that when you can basically go with something like this size and put enough gear in here and supplies to where you know without a doubt you're going to be able to handle pretty much any situation you're going to encounter and somewhat com comfortably uh, be able to last a day two days out before you can get back to your house uh, or your main you know bug out bag wherever you've got it located. Um, you know, and this, this isn't heavy, especially on with this comfortable of a pack. You know, it maybe weighs 10 pounds, if that. I haven't actually weighed it. I should probably weigh it. But, uh, you know, it's, it's not bad at all. You know, it's not to the point where, like, you feel like you're lugging something around. Um, you know, and this is with the two liters of water in it already in the bladder and uh, all the rest of the shit that I'll get into. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it did take me a little bit at first to kind of get used to carrying, like, this large of a pack around with me, you know, but uh, just throwing it over your shoulder and throwing it in your car or, you know, taking it into uh, work and putting it in a locker, you, you know, like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, the benefits of having all this stuff on your person all the time um, far outweighs the, the hassles of dealing with a larger bag like this compared to a little little pouch type deal. Um, but anyway, I think that's enough explanation as to why I carry something this size. I'll just kind of show you what I put in here. Um, uh, as you can see, you got you know my phone strapped to it, bladder that I always keep full. Uh, and we'll just start on the outside, kind of go our way in. Uh, it's got two outside pouches here. This side, uh, this has got like some just kind of like snacks. Odds and ends. We got some sunflower seeds, the Red Man, uh, granola bar, some gum, chapstick. Uh, try the other side. Uh, this has got like some different stuff like uh, zip ties, some Gorilla Tape, some Paracord, uh, Max Edition um, Tech Tie, and a little multi-tool. Um, a lot you can do with just that stuff that's right there. Um, I got a couple carabiners strapped out here with, along with this uh, shot cord, a little thing of lanyard of uh, paracord, and then a small compass attached to it. <clears throat> this has got a little slip pocket. We keep a pair of gloves and a bandana in there. Uh, this little top pouch. 
a small pair of binoculars, uh, hearing protection. That I don't know why I've actually got that. I think that's from when I took one to the rain. Flashlight, chem light. On this outside pocket here, the first zippered compartment, uh, it doesn't fold all the way down, but I'll pull it out. Um, I'm not going to pull all this stuff out, but I'll just kind of point to it and tell you what it is. This is a small roll of gauze. Um, there's some medical tape behind that. Some iodine and alcohol wipes right there. Um, a couple butterfly closures. Uh, this is a snake bite kit. Uh, this is one of those like expanding towels. Once you put it in water or whatever, it puffs out. Let me see here. Um, bottle of uh, aspirin. Um, got a little military can opener in here. Uh, medical tape. A couple more butterfly closures. Some uh, electrolyte tablets. Um, Little thing of toilet paper, notepad and pen, emergency poncho, emergency blanket, some quick clock, uh, fire starting kits, got some wet fire, mine tender dust, uh, Aurora fire starter, lighter. Uh, this little emergency tool, this has got another compass on the top with a whistle, a flint. Um, and then uh, matches inside there. So a lot of little survival gear type stuff in here. Now keep in mind as I'm like telling you all of this shit that I've gotten here, this all of this stuff still only weighs about 10 pounds. So you know it, it seems like a lot of crap, which it is a lot of crap. Um, but you're not weighing yourself down. And, you know, and I've got I've actually got a lot of room left in here, so if I needed to pack more crap in here, I could. Uh, it's got the bladder right here. Um, this is a full-size poncho. Um, this is a little stainless steel, like military-style cup. Um, and what I all I did is I just stuffed two little things of ramen inside there, so I got a little bit of food with me. Um, and then the bottom is just got a uh, a fleece jacket stuck in here, you know, in case it happens to, I'm sure as hell not cold right now, but, you know, if it were cold, you know, help keep you a little bit warmer, if you've got yourself a little shelter made, um, but that's, that's all I carry in here, but, you know, as you can see, there's enough stuff in here that I know I can pretty much handle anything that's thrown at me, and I don't have to worry about, you know, trying to, to somehow rig up something to handle, you know, the problem, um, you know, I've got all the bases covered. You know, I've got food, I've got water, I've got stuff to make shelter, I've got, um, you know, medical equipment in case I, you know, have a laceration or something or, um, you know, just anything. This, what I've got in here will cover all of it uh, and keep me going for, you know, a good solid day or two. Um, and, you know, after carrying this for, like, I've probably been carrying this thing for about, uh, I don't know, maybe two, three weeks, and I'm happy with it. I don't even really notice it anymore. Um, you know, and like I said, you know, it's personal preference. You know, if you'd rather carry a small little bag and that works for you, more power to you. you know, less, less space. Um, but uh, you know, if you like this kind of route, um, you know, this is kind of what I recommend. You know, I think. It's better to be more prepared than, if you can be, uh, than not having the shit you need when you need it. So, uh, anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much. Uh, I just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, maybe give a couple people some ideas or something. Uh, but, you know, thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, you know, as always, leave comments or if you have questions or whatever, and I'll get back to you. All right, Prepper Marine 81 out.